Welcome back to Mike Up or Shut Up. This is Big Dog coming to you live from the <laughs> Mike Up or Shut Up headquarters. This is episode 13 on Friday the 13th. No, it's not Friday the 13th. I was just kidding. That was just a joke. I was just joking. I'm here with Chris. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's I'm, all of a sudden barking. I'm now. trying to come up with my own thing. <laughs> yeah, all right. I try something every week. How all is right. that working out for you? All right. Well. And his wife, Angie. Hi. And my wife, lovely Reagan. Hey. 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 How you doing? Uh-huh. Today's a beautiful day. We got a lot to talk about today. It's a wonderful, wonderful day. We got one heck of a show. <laughs> <laughs> I changed it up. You see how I changed it up? Now we can't get sued. <laughs> right. That's right. It's all about the wording. Chris, somebody told me that you had it. Oh, you bought him a T-shirt. <laughs> you bought yeah. him. Did she buy yeah, it? Yeah, she bought me a T-shirt. Somebody told me that you yeah. had a very offensive T-shirt that <laughs> oh. really upset some people. So, oh, I want to hear about it. So, <clears throat> well, it was what was it for? It was, was for it? my birthday. Oh, it was for your my birthday. birthday. For some unknown reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I hope that was recorded on camera. Yeah, the dog great. started snoring, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the dog started snoring. Oh, I love it. So, uh, for some fucking reason that I still to this day cannot. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is just not going to work out. <laughs> it's not going to work out. You know, has, uh, you know, picking up this shirt makes oh, me cry okay. every time. Oh, my God. So, now I understand. So, my sister <laughs> bought me a shirt for my birthday. And uh, when I opened the box, I immediately thought to myself, there's no fucking way I'm ever going to wear this T-shirt ever. Because the, it was a black t-shirt, and the front of the t-shirt had some words on it, and the words said, uh, rape is no laughing matter. Right. Right? Rape Which is, no is true. Matter. Right. Rape is absolutely rape, rape is no, no laughing, laughing matter. matter. Should never be laughed right. about. <laughs> and then on the back of the t-shirt was the picture of a big clown face, and it said, unless you're raping a clown. Okay? This, yeah. So instead of buying the t-shirt for herself to wear... She bought it for me, and I thought, eh, this, is, this is not yeah, really... So you're not feeling, you're going to get yeah, shot wearing right. that. I'm, right? I'm not feeling this T-shirt. I regret not buying that shirt for myself. So, so for a long time, I just had it in the closet, and I was like, and so, you know, Angie kept saying, you know, you should buy your T-shirt. You know, she's like, you should probably wear it. You're getting the pressure you know, to, yeah, to put on yeah, this yeah. offensive <laughs> T-shirt now. So, so one day I was like, okay, I'll wear it. You know, just see how it plays out. So I put the T-shirt on. Now... Let me set the scene. At the time, we were living in Alexandria in this uh, apartment complex. It was just um, one long building, two-story building. So there was only like, you know, 20 apartments or some shit like that, 20, 24 apartments. Just all, you know, just one long rectangle of a building. Right. And uh, so we lived at the very be very end of one of the rectangle, the very first apartment. And at the very other end of the apartment complex was the uh, washer and dryer. Okay. Washer uh, Yeah. You know, it was just a washer and dryer in a little, like a little building. Sure. So I had to wash clothes. So that was the day I chose to wear the T-shirt. So <laughs> laundry day. Yeah, I, because I, you had nothing else yeah, to I wear. Nothing else wear. Yeah, I had <laughs> so, right. so I had to, so I swear to God, I'm not making this up. So I, I put the shirt on and I go to put laundry in the in the wash machine. So I do that. I'm coming back, and uh, there's this uh, girl who, uh, this young girl, looked like she was in her twenties. Never seen her before. And she stops me. She goes, hey, I really appreciate that T-shirt. I, I, I couldn't agree more. And I, <laughs> yep, and she I, thought it was yeah. an activist so, T-shirt. Yeah. Look, so, I'm so proud of you for standing yeah. up against rape. Right. right. <laughs> so I was like, oh, shit. So, okay. So I'm like, oh, yeah, thanks. You know, trying to play it off. And she, so then she starts telling me the reason why she's uh, bringing it up is because uh, one of the people that lives in the apartment complex is a... Uh, child predator or a sex offender oh right gosh. and so she's very upset about the guy being in there and, she, and I'm like I'm sitting there going what is happening right now yeah. you know I just want to wash my clothes you know? so she's going on and on about how she really appreciates my shirt and standing up you know like I'm a male feminist or something right right so I'm going Fuck me, because I got to walk past it to get yeah, to, yeah. My, to my apartment. I'm complex. waiting. Yeah. I'm imagining you walking yeah. backwards. Right. That's so, exactly what you so should have done. That's what I should have done. Oh, okay, correct. You didn't but do I that. Didn't. I had to, I was, well, because if you're going to wear the t-shirt, you got to see how it plays out. Oh, you got to no, see how it plays out. No. So, 
I just want to say I've never seen that girl again. <laughs> she never spoke to me again. I mean, yeah. So when so, you turned your back on her, she didn't have some well, other just, type of no, comment? No, no, no. She, actually, she didn't say anything, thank God, because I don't know how I would have defended myself. <laughs> My sister bought it. I don't know what I would have said. It was a Christmas <laughs> gift, I swear. Yeah, I had no choice, yeah. So I, I walked away, and I could just, I mean, the whole time I was walking away, I, I almost... I could just feel the tension of like, please God, don't let her, you know, don't let her look at my back. But I'm sure she did because I never saw her again. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm fairly certain she looked at it. Oh my gosh, so, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, awkward gifts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what people who are close to us do for us. They buy us <laughs> gifts that we hate. Right. Well, this was before liberals and stuff. It's like you know. Now, now you couldn't wear something like yeah, that no, without getting stoned to death. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was before politically correctness. Yeah. Also, definitely. in fairness, if she had burst out laughing, I would have worn that shirt every day. <laughs> every day? After that. So, but you know, hey, you got to try something. You got to see how it works. Although, to this day, I still do not understand why you looked at that shirt and thought, yeah, my brother should wear that. I've, I've told that story to my kids several times, and I can't ever make it through the entire story without crying because it's so funny. Yeah. Wow, what a my, gift. Yeah. <laughs> what a yeah, gift. Well, you didn't really remember when she he may have been trying to get you home <laughs> or, uh, exactly, yeah. or killed. Right. You know? It was the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I'm sorry. I know rape is wrong, but I think it's hilarious. I just want to say rape is no laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless you're raping a clown. <laughs> It's not funny. No, it's not funny it at all. It's no. a little funny. It's not funny. It really isn't. That was a good story. You know how hard it is to rape somebody and got big ass shoes in your way. <laughs> have you tried? Big red nose. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you got yeah. that stupid horn that they get honked. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, when they honk that, nobody looks and goes, oh, great. They just go, oh, oh, oh. funny, there's a clown somewhere. Then you better yeah. be strong because they get out of the car with like 30 other clowns. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they got backup. You have to fight them all off. You yeah. know? It's too much. It's not worth it. It's not it's, worth it. It's definitely a hassle. For sure. Oh my God! But I bet it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. I still, think, if you're a clown, I still don't think it's funny. If you're a clown. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe that's the only way they get some. Ooh. <laughs> so they're ugly clowns. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Well, well speak, speaking of raping clowns. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. Definitely yeah. one that continues to, yeah, let's, to uh, flow. Let's see. Yeah. Let's use that to segue into our next topic, which is uh. Something that's not so, funny. Well, actually, I disagree. I disagree. So there is a huge trend uh, that has developed over the years where people uh, have YouTube channels where they go around pranking, you know, people in public. Which they, I mean, pranking people in public—that's that's happened for decades now. There's, there's been all, you know, what's the, what's the damn the hidden show? camera? Hidden camera oh, yeah. and all that. I mean, and, which, and which, pumped. Yeah. With Ashton which Kutcher. actually, I don't mind like the hidden camera thing, but like when they jump out and they scare somebody, jumping out of an elevator or whatever, and then they go, "Ha ha! It was a prank show. We got you." I, I don't have a problem with that. That's actually not a problem. Well, it's always but, very harmless. Right. It's harmless. Yes. But now there's a there's a trend where they try to humiliate people or, or embarrass people or scare Conf people. Yeah, confuse people. You know. Uh, to to a point where, and it's not that they just do it for a couple of seconds and then they go, aha, we got you. Like, they just keep pushing it, pushing it mm -hmm. to see how far they can, you know, in intimidate someone until they, they snap. Right. And, you know, like, they do stupid shit. Like, they'll go up to people and uh, you'll be buying your groceries, you know, and you just pay for them. And then they'll take the groceries and they'll start walking away. And they go, oh, these are my groceries, you know, and try to try to see if they'll let you take them and go to their car with them or whatever, you know, which... yeah. Just on its face sounds like a terrible idea, but right. it's a pro popular prank, apparently. Until so, somebody decides to punch you in the, in right, the noggin, right. and then, then it's not a funny right. prank anymore. <clears throat> so there was a guy, um, there's a guy named Tanner Cook, who has a YouTube channel where this, this is exactly the kind of things he does. I mean, okay. but his, the kind of stuff he does really is shitty. Like, he'll uh, he'll go to a store, and he'll dress up like uh, an employee of the store, and he'll pretend to be a manager. And he'll walk up to an employee and tell him you're fired. Right? And then, you know, like they'll burst into tears or whatever, and they'll start flipping out. And to him, he thinks that's hilarious. Right. right. You know? Funny. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, you know, that's Just like right. Well, well, right. He also acted like a security guard <laughs> in one of his places. Yeah. And the late, he accused the lady of stealing, and she had a heart attack because yeah. of it. Yeah. The wow. Guy's a, the guy's a moron. The guy's a moron. So you can see the kind of pranks he does. He, these are awesome pranks that everybody looks forward to having played on them, you know, I mean, so what happened was, uh, to quote Clint Eastwood, uh, you ever notice how every once in a while you come across somebody who you just shouldn't have fucked with? Right? <laughs> well, he came across that guy. 
Uh-huh. So he was at a mall, which he had been previously kicked out of before for pranking people. But he came back, and there was a guy named Alan Walter Coley, I think is how you say his last name. He was a dark-ass driver. Okay, so he was at the food court picking up an order that had been delivered. So this guy, Tanner Cook, and, who is a tall guy, he's like six foot something, right? Mm-hmm. Big, tall, goofy looking guy. And, and uh, this uh, Alan Warren Coley, he's, he's kind of a short guy, so there's a big height difference. Okay. So this Tanner Cook comes up to him, and I'm, I'm going to be honest, if you if you watch the video and you see Alan Warren Coley, you can tell he is not the guy to play a prank on. He just looks like the guy who's not in the mood for people to talk to him, you know? So this Tanner Cook walks up to him with his with his uh, cell phone out, and he's got a cell phone playing a message, and the message says, "Hey dipshit, quit thinking about my twinkle," and the message just keeps playing over and over again. Okay, so he walks up to the guy and he sticks the phone in his face and he's playing that message, and of course the guy's like, "What the hell is going on?" You know, right? Like, like anybody so, would right, do. Like, yeah, yeah. So he tells him, "Hey, you know, stop." Mm-hmm. So. He keeps trying to walk away. Of course, the guy, you know, he's doing his prank video. So he follows him. He sticks the phone in his face again. The guy, like, pushes the phone away. He's like, stop. You know, leave me alone. He told him three times to leave him alone. Guy sticks the phone in his face again. So he pulls out a gun. He shoots him in the stomach. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he warned him three times in fairness. Wow. You know? So um, what happened was, of course, he got arrested. <clears throat> And, uh, the guy that shot him the got guy, arrested. Yeah, the guy that shot him got arrested, okay? And unfortunately, the guy that he shot lived, all right? So, uh, yeah, unfortunately. So, so what happened was um, they had a trial, and he, was, he had three charges against him. Uh, one was aggravated malicious wounding. Uh, one was using a firearm in the commission of a felony. And the other one was discharging a firearm within a bill, okay? Now, the, the jury found him not guilty on aggravated malicious wounding and using a firearm in the commission of a felony, which he could have faced 20 years to life in prison for. Uh-huh. But they said that because, you know, uh, Tanner Cook was so tall and he came at him out of nowhere and the guy was trying to walk away from him and he kept following him that the guy really thought that this guy's a nut and I actually might be in danger from this fucking idiot following me. Okay. So that's why he shot him. So it was self-defense. So that's why he was found not guilty for self-defense. However, the other charge of discharging a firearm within a building, uh, they did not find him not guilty of. They found him guilty of that. Okay. So he could face five years in prison. So his lawyer is going to uh, go before the judge and tell him that it doesn't make sense for him to have that charge used against him if he was found not guilty of using the firearm for a reasonable uh, reason. Right. He shouldn't have any charges for using a firearm against him. Correct. Because you can't use the firearm in self-defense and, and, you know, still be charged with using the bill. Because, I mean, th- that's what it was when he had to use the firearm. Right. You know. So, yeah, so if you have to defend yourself right. in a building, yeah. then you're still guilty of a crime. Right. Even though you're not guilty of the crime. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. So I'm pretty sure that the judge is going to drop the charge. Let's hope. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we'll the judge see. will drop the charge. Yeah, we'll but, see. But the amazing thing about this is that the guy that got shot in the stomach has not learned his lesson. Okay, he has he's not still making the thing. prank yeah. videos. He's still planning to make prank videos. And, and uh, when he came out of the courtroom, his uh, mom was being interviewed by a reporter. And, of course, she was taking her son's side of the uh, whole situation, you know, saying he shouldn't have been shot and he didn't do anything wrong. Well, then this fucking dipshit is actually standing behind his mom making goofy faces <laughs> while, while she's interviewing him. So he's yeah. 12. Right. So, right. So he's going to get shot again more than likely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, uh, well, amazing. maybe next time he won't survive. Right. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's, apparently that is <laughs> that's terrible. That's the only a terrible way. Thing that to is say. the only way he's going to learn his lesson. Can't believe maybe I he'll said get that. a twofer. A twofer. What's a twofer? You know, he gets shot twice next time. Yeah. Two for oh, one. so next time he gets shot right. two times instead of one time. Yeah. Right. Maybe. Two shots for one prank. <laughs> yep. Uh, he better hope that the guy uh, aims low and then he'll fucking aim <laughs> send a mask or. or that's Between the, reason, the eyebrows. Yeah, that's the only reason why that would he's still be bad. alive. Yep. That's the only reason. That would be really yeah. bad. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah, these fucking pranksters, I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I've been wondering, like, what would happen if a prankster came up to me? Oh, jeez. You know, because I'm not far. You know would what I mean? You I drop kick him? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> maybe if he was, you know, six foot eight like this other guy, maybe I wouldn't drop kick him, but, but I don't know. I mean, like, some of the things they do, there, there's some other people that have 
run into issues pulling these pranks and nobody seems to be going maybe this is not a good idea like there was a 20 year old in tennessee who uh <clears throat> while his buddy was filming it because it was going to be for youtube he had a rubber knife and he went up to some guys and uh he pulled out the knife and he pretended to rob them i think it was in a parking lot so one of the people that he was threatening with the rubber knife pulled out a gun shot him and killed him because he, wow. he didn't know it was a YouTube prank. He thought he was getting robbed for real. Mm. So Put he, that so, on YouTube. Yeah so, he, yeah, so he shot him and he killed him. So <laughs> that would a, probably be on YouTube yeah, anyway. Right. Yeah. My goodness. And then there was another one. I can't remember the guy's name. He um he would go around. One of the pranks he would do is he would get a gas can, and he would fill it with water. And then he would walk up to people's cars in the parking lot, and he would say something. And he would pour the gasoline on their hood, on the top of the car, to make um, the water to make them think he was pouring gasoline on it. And there's one where it's this uh, white guy comes up and uh, he's he's pouring you know the fake gasoline on the guy's car and the guy's like what the fuck are you doing and he starts pouring it on him. Oh. So, so then he starts chasing the guy. So then the guy starts running away from him and he's chasing him in the parking lot, pretending like he's pouring gasoline on him, right? Mm -hmm. So funny, funny stuff, right? Well, this guy fucked up and uh, he went up to this old man and he started pouring the gasoline on the fake gasoline on the hood of his truck and he was saying shit like Kanye 2020 which I don't understand how that you know I don't, I don't understand what the whole Kanye thing just trying was, to make him he's think he's trying, crazy yeah. I guess so he's pouring the water on the guy's hood and the guy gets out with and got his gun in his hand already when he gets out of the car he's already got his gun in his hand so the, so the prankster shits his pants yeah and he's like hey it's just a prank yeah, it's, it's just a prank, prank. Yeah. it's just water oh my yeah. god oh my god yeah, oh my god. yeah, yeah you, all of a sudden yeah. the tables yeah. are turned yeah. now ain't they bitch yeah so the guy actually, <laughs> the guy actually tells him the videos on YouTube the guy tells him it better be water or you're one dead son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, he's lucky it was water so I'm just saying, I mean, this is the kind of stupid shit these people are doing. Yes. And, yes, I, and I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. You know what that reminds me? That's all of those stories in general. They remind me of the fact that I have never told you oh. on this show how I feel about the Second Amendment. Okay. I want you to understand that I hear a lot of drama and a lot of people talking a lot of shit about the Second Amendment. And a lot of people are saying, why do you need fully automatic machine guns? Right. Why do you need a 50 caliber rifle? When the early people wrote the Second Amendment, they were talking about muskets. They wasn't talking about all these things. Listen, when they wrote this amendment to the Constitution, they were just coming off of being oppressed. And they had to fight and die for their independence to be the United States of America. So they knew that that was a possibility. So this amendment was written for that distinct possibility. Right. It wasn't written so that you could go hunt deer or you could target shoot. It was written so that we would never be exempt. We would never be exposed to that type of tyranny right. again. Right. We would be able to defend ourselves against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That yeah. means our own people, when they, and that's what that's about for me. That's right. I don't care if it's a shotgun or if it's a AR-15 or if it's a 50 cow that you can shoot from a thousand miles away. Yep. Or a slingshot. Or a slingshot. I don't care what it is. You have the right to bear arms that shall not be infringed. Period. Yep. Simple as that. No, that's right. And you know, I, I say I actually get to this argument with a lot of people. Um, I, I say that you know we should go back to the way it was in the old west. Everybody has a gun. Yeah. Everybody has a gun. That's Did right. you ever hear about the uh, school shooting they had in the Old West? Never. No, you didn't. That's right. Yep, you didn't hear that. That's, That's right. correct. So I think that that would solve a lot of problems. Everybody and it would solve this particular right. problem as well because how many people would run around pouring gasoline on right. people's vehicles yeah. knowing that everybody's right. got a gun? That's right. Right? Yeah. Use common sense. Right. That's I, just I not going down. Honestly, the way I would handle it is uh, I actually have given this a lot of thought. I think that uh, just like when you turn 18, you got to register for the draft and all that kind of, you got to take a class in order to drive a car. I think that every person should have to take a firearm safety class when they yeah, come of age. Sure. Every person Absolutely. should have to take it. You know? I agree. And so that, that way you don't have to worry about, oh, nobody knows how to use the gun properly. Nope. Yep. They have to. They have to learn how to use it properly. And that way, you know, that will solve a lot of issues. And yeah, sure. In the beginning, everybody getting on, there'd be a lot of shooting because you'd have to fucking teach people that this is how it is now, you know. But and the other argument I get is that um, the old West it was only six shooters. It wasn't AR-15s, which is so deadly. So it wouldn't, you know, it's not the same. 
But I disagree. I think AR-15s uh, actually are necessary in self-defense in some cases. And what I point to is, you know, what they call the summer of love, the BLM riots. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I saw many videos, many videos that really made me understand how important firearms are. Like, I saw a guy who had a fucking samurai sword, if you can believe right. it. There was a guy who had a samurai sword trying to defend himself Correct. against a crowd of people. And at first he held him off, for, you know, for a little bit, but they eventually oh, yeah, beat they his ass down. Because this is not the movies. You cannot right. chop through 50 people with a samurai That's sword correct. in real life. So he asked, he got his ass. Beat. I don't even know if he got killed. He got beat down. There was blood all everywhere. Yeah. His head was all busted open. And I saw a guy who, believe it or not, um, it was him and his wife, and they were uh, these some guys were punching his wife, mm-hmm. and he grabbed a pipe to stop him because he couldn't stop him. You know, he wasn't strong. He wasn't big enough to stop. Him. So he grabs a pipe to stop him. Well, some other dude grabbed a board. It was like a two by six or something. And it was literally like 15 feet long. And so, so he used, he fucking came up by that guy and he smacked him in the head. Right. You know, he was 15 feet away from the guy. So, right. I mean, that pipe, even though that would have done a lot of damage, could have hit him. He had no chance of hitting that guy. Right. So if you're in a situation. Just where, outranged. Right, right. Yeah. If you're in a situation where you're surrounded in a crowd by a ton of people who mean to do you harm. Correct. You need an AR-15. Yeah. Because you don't... The thing is... Or an MP5 right, any, or yeah. a, uh, some type of submachine gun. You would not like have to shoot 50 people. No. You would only have to shoot three or four. Right. And, and then the, the rest yeah, of them would be like, I'm out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm going to go uh, protest down the street. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's I, exactly So correct. that's my that's my take on it. You know, it's not popular. I got some relatives even who think I'm... Uh, going overboard with this take but no I, nope it's, i don't nope, think yep. so i'm telling you that this is the reason why it was put into place yes and a lot of people don't understand that they don't think that you need this kind of weaponry and this kind of stuff and even joe biden's ignorant ass says oh you're gonna ar-15 well we got f-16s yeah you do but there's a thousand of us with ar-15s right you know what i'm saying yeah i know i know come it's, get them it's stupid yeah it's, it's retarded yeah Anyway, that's my take on no, that, Libby. I, I hear you. I, I just want to tell you that, Libby, <laughs> that that's my take on the Second Amendment, Libby. Oh, speaking of, uh-oh, I was supposed to find something out to tell Libby, and I forgot. I couldn't find it, actually, and I was going to ask you guys to try to help me find it. So, oh, I guess was you the have... insurance thing? No, it's not the insurance thing. It was a commercial. There was um an ex-Fenty commercial, and some kids used a slang term. She didn't know what it meant. I tried to look it up. I couldn't figure out what it meant either, but oh, Lord. we'll have to look it up for next week. So you I have, have to no wait idea. four weeks to find out the answer. If we can find it. I don't know. Sorry, I, Libby. So we don't even get yeah. to know what the slang word is? Look, we might know slang it word is I'll wait. I'll wait until... Well, we'll watch the video. I was supposed to tell you tonight and I forgot. So we'll watch the video uh, after and then we'll try to figure it out for next week. How okay. Okay, Libby. So, yep. So sorry, Libby. I, uh, <laughs> I effed up. But uh, so now you got to wait four weeks to find out the answer. That's right, Libby. You know, I was actually the the episode in which we mentioned her the first time. I was supposed to answer that question as well. I know, and but I, you didn't. I didn't. You're because, the one uh, who was the liar that right, time. Yep, I did lie. I did tell her. <laughs> yep. So, what's going on in Israel? Because this is all that I can hear about, and everything that's all over in the news, and everything that's all over everywhere, and it's just flooding me to death. So. Because I try not to watch all of those things, and I try to keep my life happy and on the smiling plane, I try to stay out of all of the drama and all of the crazy, so I try to stay away from it. But I know that it's important to know about sometimes. So tell me tell me what's happening over there in layman's terms, right. Libby. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> Is this episode going to be entitled Libby? Maybe Libby. It might. It might. <laughs> um, give me Libby or give me death. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I know this comes as a shock, but uh, I think I have a hot take on the old Israel. Oh, a hot take? Yeah, I have a controversial take. So that means, I have a that means that you have a take that no one else no, has. No. no, he has a take that I, nobody else is going to like. Yeah, nobody else is going to like, but I don't okay. give a shit. So, all right, so what's happening right now is Israel and Hamas, <clears throat> which governs over the Gaza Strip, are basically at war. All right, and uh, what's interesting about this situation? What is what is the Gaza Strip? Is that imp- an it's, important piece of land well, for some reason? Or yeah. Something? Okay. What so is Israel, that's where all the Palestinians live. Okay. Okay. So you know, um, Jews are not popular in Arab communities. Right. right. I don't know if anybody knows this, but they're not they're not popular. So there's a uh, basically. 
You what? know where else they weren't popular? Yeah. Oh. No, I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So actually, I'm actually about to uh, tie that all. Okay. Okay. You believe me, I so, got something to say to you. Go all ahead. All right. So look. Spit it out, Libby. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for a long time, you know, ever since after World War II, whenever, you know, Israel got established, basically, and uh, they've been, you know, they've been trying to take that land back uh, from the Jews. And uh, so what happened was, um, <clears throat> over, you know, there have been several instances where people tried to take Israel, or, you know, just kill all the Jews in Israel, basically, by force, okay? And uh, the Palestinians who lived there, they left, uh, they actually evacuated so that they thought, well, okay, we're going to leave, and they're going to come in, they're going to kill all the Jews, and then we're going to come back. Mm -hmm. But they didn't kill all the Jews, right? The Jews successfully defended the land. Right. They, they have, no one has, you know, been able to successfully take you know, take over the area. So, it's just been a back and forth. I mean, you know, terrorist attacks here, there. I mean, kidnappings. You know, I mean, it's and you know, missiles getting shot randomly. I mean, it's just it's for just years, crazy. Yeah, it's for years, beheaded. decades. Uh, the so babies being beheaded thing is not real. No, no. Nope, what that about is children that is being lit on fire? So, well, I don't right. know about that one, but the babies being beheaded thing is not real. Okay. So this is an ongoing situation, right? And uh, so what happened was. Uh, in an effort to try, you know, America always wants to promote democracy in other other areas, right, other countries. So the whole thing about Israel that we always see is, hey, it's, it's democracy in the Middle East, we got to protect it, right? So they actually uh, got the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip to have democratic elections, okay? And guess what? They elected Hamas to run the government. Okay. Hamas, the terrorist organization Hamas, was democratically elected to run the government. Okay. So... Democracy ain't always the best thing. I mean, if you look at it like that. I well. Mean, I mean, that's what those people wanted. Right. So that's, that's You could look you know? at it that way, too. So that's what right? they wanted. So they got because what they Because there's a big group of folks right. that are now saying, oh, innocent uh, right. Palestinians, and they're getting killed right. in the streets for no reason. Well, they voted for this. Right. So, so they're not well, completely innocent. So here's the thing. Right? Here's, here's, my, here's my hot take on this. So Israel is not blameless in this because... Even, you know, so Israel has said to itself, hey, we got to protect ourselves, right? These people want to wipe us out. So they have really enforced a lot of conditions uh, on the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. They really keep them tamped down. You know, they Israel controls a lot of what can come in and go out of the Strip. And so those people really are dependent on Israel to give them things. And, and there's no economic, you know, opportunities really for the young men and stuff growing up. There's no nothing for them, you know, they have no futures. So it makes them hate Israel even more. Okay. You know, I mean, so, I mean, look, this is how I look at it. Everybody's saying, you know, Israel is right or Palestine is right, whatever. It doesn't matter. And, and they're saying stuff like, uh, you know, they can be a two-state solution. They can live together. But let's be truthful. They can't. Right. And here's, here's how you need to look at it to understand that they can't. Imagine if Israel, okay, Jews, but Palestine... Uh, the Gaza Strip wasn't Palestinians; it was Nazis, mm -hmm. right? There's, you can't. You nobody's going to go. You know, some of the Nazis want to live in peace with the Jews. No, <laughs> because that's what they're saying about the Palestinians, right? Which I don't believe, by the way. So just imagine it that way: not Palestinians and Israelites; it's Israelites and fucking Nazis, right? right? Those two, those two cannot coexist together. Right. So the only way this can be resolved is one defeats the other. That mm -hmm. is the only way it can be resolved, right? Okay. So now they're going to war. So my hot take is, I don't give a shit. If two countries want to go to war, hey, have at it, guys. I don't understand why it is America's responsibility every time two countries go to war that we have to fucking get involved. I don't know either. And, and, and I, don't, I don't buy the whole thing about we have to protect democracy. Because let's no. imagine that we are the only democracy in the world. Every other country is not a democracy. Okay? So right. what? So what? Well, I don't think it. I don't think it requires our response, but I also believe that Israel has a right to defend. Sure. So, and uh, there's a lot of people saying, "Oh, but there's innocents that are involved, and they're just dropping carpet bombs all over Gaza, and there's innocent people that live there." Listen, I know for a fact that they announced to the entire Gaza Strip and everybody in in that area, "Get out, evacuate." Because we coming. Like Deion Sanders says, we coming. <laughs> you understand? So he did that. Then, 
my wife told me that they flew some type of airplane or aircraft over and they threw out leaflets or pamphlets that says, get out, we coming, warning, get out, evacuate now. I saw the pamphlets. So, yeah. so they did all of that to get rid of these innocent people because they knew it's coming down. And so now, a week or two weeks later, if you're still there, then you catch what you catch, babe. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, sure, sure. And I believe that Israel is some badasses. Right. The Israeli no, special agree. forces I agree. I agree. are like top of the line, bro. Yeah. Yeah. They don't need us is what I'm saying. Right. They yeah. are bad enough to whip Hamas's ass right. without us. But yeah. they are trying to <clears throat> minimize the innocent casualties by telling people, evacuate because we're coming in. Okay, first, I I don't believe that we should fund Israel anyway. I don't right. think we should give them any money or weaponry. I they're agree. their own country because they're badasses. Right. They're they their can own do country. their own thing. If they cannot they cannot support a military on their own, then they don't need to have one. Well, no, but we've already funded Hamas. Well, I mean, look, we fund everyone. We give every fucking country money. Well, yeah. the, the hostage that the six yeah. billion dollars we yeah. just paid went directly in Hamas's pocket. Yeah, because the leader was like, "We're going to spend the money however of we want to spend the money." Yeah, <laughs> and guess who did that? Right. I I think dun, that, dun, dun. Right. That's who it is. <laughs> no, just like Ukraine. I don't want us to give money or military aid to any other country. If they want to go to war with someone else, hey, enjoy it. Do what you got to do. And then we'll just fucking see how this plays out. Because that's how the world is. If people are going to go to war, and it's not our job to fucking get involved with every war. I I feel you on that. I think that it's okay. It's okay. Like, if you're a rich person and you're very wealthy, and your house has everything that it needs, and everybody in there is taken care of, and everybody's eating steak, and you feel like going catch your neighbor and saying, hey, come on over, come eat a steak with us. If you want to do that, I think that's fine. So I think it's okay to help other countries occasionally, as long as everybody within your house is well taken right. care of. And as we know, that is not the case right. in Correct. our house. Right. Correct. We have homeless in the streets everywhere, dude. Yep. Uh-huh. This is We need to take care of our house before we right. worry about other people's house. Right. And that's firmly what I believe right. as far as I'm, I love my country. But I'm embarrassed of my government. That's the reality. No, that's right. Well, this is the problem that I have. Um, So a terrorist organization, Hamas, goes in on a Jewish holiday, which, in my opinion, is like going into church, and kidnaps a bunch of these Jewish people during a concert, also goes into people's homes. They kill people in their beds, including children. They, after they have killed who they think is everyone in the house, they burn the houses down in case someone was hiding and they didn't find them. So they just like run through thousands of people, innocents, you know, most of them Jewish that I know of, um, to start this war is all I can think of. And regardless of what their problems are, okay, Israel, Hamas, Palestinians, Jews, whatever, the problem I have is our government officials making statements like Jews have, you know, no power there and and this is what the Jews deserve or what they ask for or all of this, and they shouldn't be saying any of that. That is exactly how the Holocaust happened. People said that could never happen. And idiots like members of our Congress said, oh, yeah, because these people aren't worthy. Their lives are not worthy. It's a bigger cause. And that's how they tried to eradicate all these Jews in the first place. So I think members of Congress need to keep their mouths shut about this stuff. We just need to stay out of it, let that part of the world handle their own business and we can pray for him. Yeah. Well, uh, I think another point to make is uh, all those fucktard celebrities that used to say, what difference does it make if Iran has a nuclear weapon? <laughs> well, this is the difference. This is it. This is why it matters. So, if it happens, it's your fucking fault. <laughs> right. I blame you. Right. But I don't think we should be looking to eradicate any particular group no, no. of people. No, no, no. And that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying, my point is... If they they are going to war, that is no question. They are in, at war right Correct. now. Right. We should stay out of it. Let them fight it out. 
It's right. Whatever happens is on them. It is not our war. Yep. I don't care how many children get killed. I don't know how many innocent <sighs> people get killed. No, it's war. It's none of our business. It is none of our business. If they want to go to war with each other, let them. But we should also not be taking sides. That's what exactly. I'm saying. We should Which just is, let especially it Especially with out. the terrorist organization. Yeah. Let it I play mean, out. Because the problem with terrorist organizations is they don't stop with one group of people. I could take a side personally, though. Me? No, yeah, you can. Yeah. But you're not representing uh, a state or a, a group of constituents or, you know, your opinion can be your opinion, but that's what it's valued as. You don't talk for a group of people. Right. So let me play devil's advocate here. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Holocaust 2.0, basically. And we all remember what Holocaust 1.0 began. Right. right. Yep. That's right. So that's right. If it if if that's what we're looking at, then what we're talking about is WW three. No, that is what we're talking about. Right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. That is what we're talking so, about. So, in that situation, and given given those set of circumstances, can we afford to not know what's going on? Can we afford to be out of it? Because. When it gets to that point, we have no choice but to be in it. Well, right. Let me let me let me uh, let me say this: uh, the the first Holocaust that happened, um, the end goal of Germany was literally to take over the world. Of course, they literally wanted to take over the world. Of course, yeah, that is not hyperbole. That was their end goal. Right. And I can't say that Hamas wants to take over the entire world. I really think that. Uh, a large segment of the Arab population just wants to kill all the Jews in Israel. I, I really do. I, so, well, that's that's fair. But what happens when they kill all the Jews in Israel, and there's more Jews next door in Syria, or next door? I don't even know where Syria is, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's but it middle, sounded like I knew middle, what the hell I was talking about. It's in the Middle East. It's in the Middle East. Or Egypt, so, or you know, anywhere. Well, yeah, anywhere. <laughs> Here's the, here's the thing. Uh, I really believe that one way or another, one side has to be wiped out. I mean, there there will never be peace in the Middle East right. as long as there, you know, Israel exists in the Middle East. There will definitely never be peace because the goal of the Middle East is to wipe out Israel. So they, 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 don't, they don't want peace. No one wants peace over there. So one side has to win so that it's over, okay? Uh, it, that's just a fact. That's a harsh reality, but that is the reality. Yes, but this is my concern, and I called this months ago when Ukraine oh. started fighting with yeah. Russia. I said this is the beginning of World War III yep. because Russia wants to take over, and then Russia and China started colluding, yep. and China's now threatening Taiwan, and here we go now in the Middle East. Well, here's the problem with the United States. The United States has given tons of resources to Ukraine. Correct. And we're also in a position where hmm, we may have to protect Taiwan, so we're out there, you know, in case stuff goes wrong. So if we now spread ourselves into the Middle East, like, we need to worry about okay. home right and now. And all of that while we are weak as hell. Yeah, right. That's exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah, but, but we see, need to worry about home right, right. here because but, we can't protect ourselves here, much less other places. See, that's my point. You just said we have to protect Taiwan, but we don't have to. No, no, Taiwan. I'm saying that. That's my no, point. No, no. We don't. I'm saying that, that is what the protecting. government yeah. is saying, right? right? So they're spreading right. all our resources I mean, so thin where right. the United States itself is not being no. protected. No, no, this definitely could become World War Three, not because Hamas wants to take over the world, but because there's so much instability already and people waiting to go to war. This could be their opportunity. I mean, look at it this way. So we're talking about sending ground troops into Israel, which is the worst idea ever mm. in the history of bad ideas because we send you you know that if we put boots on the ground that it's open season on all Americans outside of America for sure it's open season on them and then they, hell it could they could be terrorist attacks inside America to just retaliate for us even getting involved over there plus you catching all, right yeah. plus, have you heard about all the people that they've been catching crossing the border recently including people on uh, the terror list from Iran no, have no, been it's, yeah, caught it's, crossing but see, the border this, in Mexico. But see, us getting involved, because we've already done so much in Ukraine, us getting involved with Israel could embolden China 
to take over Taiwan because we won't be able to spread ourselves so thin to, t- to fucking fight. Every- we can't fight everybody. Right. We can't. Even though Biden literally just said that we could in an interview. Yeah. He literally said we could take on everybody. Uh, we can't. No. Well, he okay. probably... And we don't need to. No, we don't right. need to. That's he also right. thinks even he's this running get, the country. And even if this does get to World War Three status, I still don't think that we have to involve ourselves in other situations. Yep. We need to defend our own borders. Right, that's it. We need yep. to defend ourselves. That's what we need to do, number one, if it gets to that level. Right. But I got news for you. You're talking about uh, if we get boots on the ground. I can't confirm it. But I hear that SEAL Team 6 is already on the ground in Israel. Oh, I don't doubt that. There's already two big warships in the Mediterranean. Oh, yeah, yeah. we sent some aircraft so, Oh, no, I'm sure. New, things so, are moving. Yeah, I'm sure that, I'm sure that, that yeah, probably is uh, true. What is it, USS yeah. Ford and USS yeah. Eisenhower's yeah. over there now? Well, our military is no longer the military oh, correct. it used to be, which is already has me concerned. And it has a commander-in-chief that is basically a, a diaper-wearing geriatric. Well, right, he thinks he's running the country. He has no idea. He don't even know what his name is. He don't think he's running the country. He well, thinks, he thinks he, he is. He thinks that he's in a bed of uh, a field of sunflowers walking <laughs> around with a butterfly buzzing yeah. around his head. That's what he yeah. thinks. He has no idea where he's even at on any given day. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, this episode has been super political. Yes, it uh, is. Which, actually... But it's okay. We can I, be I political. Think, I think it's necessary because World War Three literally is... Uh, a possibility now. It, it, it's no longer up for debate. It is a true possibility. Well, you now. also so, didn't talk about how Iran said oh, if you put boots yeah. on the ground in Gaza, yeah. Israel, we're getting involved, we can yeah. get involved. Yep. Yeah. No, I mean there's so many things it's going on. Crazy. C- to CNN me. has pulled uh, three of their Muslim anchors off the air quietly. Uh, they, they can be guests on other people's shows, but they can't host their own shows right now because they have an opinion that is not necessarily pro-Israel, mm. and you can't you can't do that because uh, apparently Jews don't control the media, but you can't criticize Jews in the media. It's, it's a funny, uh, it's a funny thing. I, I can't put it together, but so um, weird, dude. Yeah. So that's right. We got political. Sometimes you have to get political. Yeah. Some of our uh, listeners have uh, speak said that um, it's not fair that we don't have any opposing viewpoints on this podcast. But well, that is I tried actually, to play devil's advocate. Yeah, I know. And I try to throw out what the opposition may think and yeah. what they may say. Well. That's okay. We're going to, um, in the near future, we're actually going to have opposing viewpoints on the podcast. We're going to have some guests come in and, uh, yeah, I think there's and value we're going to, that. and we're going to, you know, argue. Uh, <laughs> well, if you know. somebody would love to, you know, throw us a comment on Facebook or Absolutely. something, give us their opinion, we'll be happy to talk about that. Any, th- any particular thing oh, yeah. they want us to talk yeah. about. So. But be respectful. No, well, I think we're well, all that's respectful. The key. That's the key to any productive discussion. Correct. Sure. Is that you have to. You have to keep the name calling and the foolishness away. Right. You can't just come in and say, you're a liberal retard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we can you say know? it now <laughs> while we're joking around with people. But if you were talking to somebody who was a liberal retard, right. you, you would want to be respectful. You would want to be respectful. <laughs> you would want to be respectful. that discussion to be productive, yeah. you would have to avoid calling that liberal retard a liberal retard. That's right. To their face. That's right. right. Correct. Yeah. You want that discussion to be productive, right. you have to keep the respect. Right. Right. Because that is a very slim possibility you could change somebody's mind. It is. No. Not a big possibility, Ooh. but there is a slim possibility. See, we disagree. We well. have an opposing view. Oh, yeah. See yep. how that goes? Yeah, Because I, I don't think you're changing none of their minds. Well. No, I don't I think, think they even know what their own mind thinks. That's, That's right. what I don't think. A lot of them are just sheep. They just parrot no, whatever I agree. they hear. A lot of sheep they have no idea what they even think. You know what? They think the same thing about us. Yeah. Don't think about that. Yeah. That's untrue. I can tell no, you. No, they do think that. No, no, no. They do I think that. I feel things based on things that affect me directly. I know that my 401k has grossed negative 11% over the last three years. That's what I know. I know that a dozen of eggs cost twice what it cost three years ago. Yeah, more That's than that. the things that I can see and the things that affect me. Yeah. That's where I get my opinions from. Sure. Not from something that CNN tells me. Yeah, and gas is a whole $2 more a gallon. Now, as opposed to and that's real talk. Yep, well, that's, all right. that's all right. We're gonna we're gonna have some real talks <laughs> with some uh, opposing viewpoints. I, I'm excited for it, actually. Uh, you know, I mean, we are gonna be respectful. We might throw, of course, we might throw a couple of little jabs because in there. Because a lot of but... these people, I have friends that that. Oh no, me too, ways, me and, too, and we will remain friends. Yeah, because I mean, I I have some friends that think I'm a conservative retard. So I mean, correct. I get it. I or, get or, it. Or, or a maggot. Or yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 
But that's okay. Thumper. That's okay. Thumper. Thumper. That's all right. But it's called being an adult when you can have a conversation. When sure. you, you know, I like I like it when Chris spars with people who have a different opinion than him. Yeah, yeah. It's very entertaining. And if uh, they start doing any conversation with you, just unplug the microphone. I love it. It's our show. We can do what we want. Click. You're, you're <laughs> canceled, like, yeah. I'm just wondering how you think they would ever start winning the conversation. No, I'm just well, saying. He didn't just say in it case. was a possibility. Yeah, I just said just in case. I, I have a <laughs> you know, backup plan. You always go into battle with uh, multiple we got plans of engagement. We got That's right. We own the tech, so we're good. Yep. Yes, indeed. So, oh, Real talk with also, Big Dog. Uh, that's it. There it is, yeah. So, also, I just want to say Trump. You got to say Trump when you get political. Oh, uh, you do? We didn't, we didn't mention Trump, did. so you got to say it. Trump. You know what's really it's funny? It's Trump's fault. This is all Trump's fault. I don't know if you know that. That's correct. <laughs> that is correct. That's like when you say, how many states are in the United States of America? 42. <laughs> that is correct. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's yeah, right. you do have to say Trump. Because when, if you were to say, uh, Joe Biden fell off his bicycle today, the liberal retard would say, well, Trump is an idiot. That's, that, that's their <laughs> yeah, little yeah. argument right, to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. That's the only thing they can say to you. They can't say, oh, well, he had a twisted ankle because he was fighting in a war against Israel the other day. No, they don't, they don't have any real arguments. So they just say, oh, yeah, well, Trump has orange skin and stupid hair. That's what they do. Like, seriously, <laughs> we, Trump has not been president for three plus years now. Yep. Can we stop saying his name? Can you tell me no, what your guy has done instead of saying what you think my guy did? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's why they can't. They, they can't. They have no valid points, no. so they just got to say, Trump. Yes, that's Wah. right. That's what we have to do. We have yep. to say Trump. Trump, yep. Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump. Libby. <laughs> yep. It's all Libby's fault when you get down to it. Libby did it. Yep. Libby That's did right. It. Libby did it. Yep. Oh well. I wonder what the Libby yeah. count is at. I don't know. How many times a- did I say? According to her, it's not high enough. It's not seventeen. High enough. I think I was going seventeen. You think I made it to seventeen? It's possible. Um, Libby? It's possible. Libby, 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 Libby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I covered I'm sure it like we can that. get our tech guy to count it up and do the Libby count. Oh, that could be the poll. How many times did we say Libby? Yeah. <laughs> then we know did we say Libby <laughs> enough? Yeah. <laughs> Who is Libby? That could be yeah, enough, yeah, people, <laughs> right. A lot of people. We got thousands of listeners. They probably yeah. don't even know nobody, who Libby yep, is. Nobody knows who Libby is. Yeah. 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 They think Libby's the one that makes the little Vienna sausages. <laughs> 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 Libby, uh, Libby. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, big dog, I, big dog. <laughs> so I have a, I have a uh, movie recommendation y'all might not, suge- y'all might not expect. All right, is it time I, for that I, already? I think it is. Are you skipping is. the stupid thought oh, of the day? Oh, is that stupid thought? There's of the day? always stupid thoughts. Yeah. Of the what day. are we gonna call it? I thought you I said we we're gonna call it something else. We need a name. It needs to have a name. Yep. Reagan's. If you can think of a name, comment on Facebook. There you go. Reagan's crazy mind. <laughs> what happens in the head of Reagan? <laughs> I don't know. Let's hear but it. Let's hear Reagan's Random stupid thought of the thoughts. day. Or maybe to be named something different in the future. Yes, I'm open for suggestions because I can't come up with a name, but I can come up with all this other crap. Oh, yeah, she got them. So I learned that the um, pride flag originally had eight colors, but now only has six. And I feel that is color discrimination, and that's just hypocritical. Yes. This is what happens in the mind of Reagan. Welcome <laughs> to my world. All of us are going, what? I right. had no idea how many colors were on the pride flag to begin with. That's right. That's the thing. And color discrimination kind of sounds like face blindness. It, right. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to, say, be talking about Brad might Pitt have like to that? talk about Brad Pitt in the next episode. Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah we'll God. see. Old Brad. <laughs> Everybody's favorite actor. Oh, Not my. Really. Well, he really screwed the pooch when he left Jennifer Aniston for Julie. You don't know. Julie's crazy. You know what kind of stuff she gets into in bed. I got a feeling she has no limits. Well, yeah, well, I don't think it was worth it. No limits. I've seen her wearing some leathers and stuff before. She French kissed her brother. That's all I'm saying. Movie Gia. Incest is not that. She's nude. What? Yes, I'm gonna throw that out there. Oh for no! Do you yeah. have like a timestamp? No, I don't have time. Because that's a whole other. No, because the movie's the movie's not great, <laughs> but she is nude in it. So, G, oh, check it out. G. Oh, that's G-I-S. the model movie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What? Yeah. Tomb Raider. I only watched it for one reason. I knew she was nude in it. Well, that's the only reason. And I that's the only Tomb reason why anyone would watch it because it is not a good movie. It's not a good movie. No. 
So it's about well, a model, a literal yeah, see, model. I can't who really went get down the whole dark hole to get to nudies. Fast yeah. forward. That's that. why they made a fast forward. Fast movie. forward, but we don't have that ability. I don't think. Maybe we do. Uh, that's why you got to have physical media. Physical media. Physical media, not just damn streaming bullshit. Yeah, we streaming can fast bullshit. forward. We can stream. In fact, when you're fast forwarding streaming stuff, you have like four different options of how fast you oh, want okay. to fast forward. Right. Well, I don't stream, Ooh. so all right. All right. So now that we've taken the dive into my wife's brain. Yep. And everybody's seen the ugliness that exists there. <laughs> we can take a dive into Chris's well, brain. Now we can oh. take a dive into Chris's all movie. Right. Brain. So look. I dug deep. You made a comment about me digging into the basement, so I dug deep, oh. deep in the basement. It is not like, that this, deep. Hey, let me do the movie recommendation. I want to so, know. I want to know. It's do good. you have a hell of a show? Oh, I, you know I do. <laughs> so look, it's, it's going to be hard to find this one on uh, on Netflix or any streaming service, but hey, it's it's worth a look. So he's such a liar. This movie stars Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn and, Monroe, and Clint Eastwood. And right. Clint Eastwood, star studded. Right. You're such a liar. Right? It's called Fight, Fuck, or Go for Your Gun. <laughs> what? It's called what? Say that again. Fight, Fuck, or Go for Your Gun. Marilyn Monroe. Okay. Fight, F word, or Go for Your Gun. <laughs> that's so funny. I don't think that's a real movie, but it's funny. Muhammad Ali, Fight, Marilyn yeah, yeah. Monroe, Fuck. Oh, I put Eastwood, it all together. I put it all together. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Well, I was no. going for Please, the slow the roadmap. He, he, well, no, because he kind of mumbled, like, because he was trying to contain his laughter. We're going to so work on his delivery. That, yeah. I was explaining that it's for the uh, audience out there who maybe needed a little slower. It's a movie about three slower. mercenaries who have very different styles of dealing with enemies. So. Three mercenaries that have very different styles. Of dealing with enemies, 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 enemies. Why is that word? I'm. I swear, I'm not high. <laughs> right, no. So the real movie is uh, a cult classic that came out in 1999. Okay, stars Willem Dafoe, which that's okay. always that's always a plus. Uh, Sean Patrick Flannery and Norman Reedus. You know, before he came oh, to fame. Yeah, this is before he came to Norman fame Reedus. in the uh, Walking Dead series. Yes. Yeah. So this movie's called Boondock Saints. Oh, I've heard of that movie. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a, it's a cult classic. It's um, <clears throat> it's about these two Irish brothers, and uh, they literally get a message from God telling them to kill bad guys. So they get a lot of weaponry, and they go out, and they sort of take on this mob family, and they just start going around just assassinating mobsters left and right. And uh, Willem Dafoe is an FBI agent who's trying to track them down, and uh, figure out what the fuck's going on and try to stop it. That's awesome. So it's, yeah, it's a lot of action. A lot uh, of killing. It's, it's a cool It's a cool movie. It's it's, it's done in a, in a very entertaining way. I, I really enjoy it. All right. Yeah, they made a sequel that was poo-poo, so it, avoid the sequel. But uh, You might have a winner here. Boondock yeah. Saints. Yeah. He's talking about people getting shot and shooting titties. people. And yeah, there's some, there some, some, there some, there some titties in it. There's some titties, yeah. All right. Yeah. No, How about that? Plus, you get to look at Sean Patrick Hey, have there. you seen the movie... Uh, Four brothers. That's kind of reminded me when Four you said brothers. they were two yeah. Irish oh, brothers. Oh wow! Yeah. About I, have, Four brothers. I, I know the movie Four Brothers. I've not seen. You it. haven't seen it? No, no that's a pretty it. hot movie. Yeah, I, yeah. I was a fan. You probably won't be. Probably, but it's okay. Probably not. It's okay because yeah. it's a good movie. Yeah. Check it out. I will. I will check it out. Actually, yeah. I'm going to check yours out. You check mine out. All right. Fair enough. Yep. He does. That's he a, I think, I think we have a deal. That is fair. Yeah. Deal. Shake on it. All right. All right. Libby. Big yeah. dog, little dog. Yep. Big dog, little dog. Yep. Movie exchange. We gotta tell. We gotta tell uh, one of our uh, hardcore fans, Matt, that we are in the process of watching the movies he recommended. So oh yeah. Get a review of them all. We're we'll doing an episode where we review all of them. So we're knocking them out one by one. Yeah, I like it. Yep. Yeah, he gave us a recommendation for Gone in sixty seconds. But he had a date that was what 1974. 1974. Now I remember going in sixty seconds, but it was more like the two thousand era. Right. It was nowhere right. near nineteen seventy four. So right. I didn't even know this movie existed. Yep. You have, however, found it on some streaming service. Yes. So we're definitely going to give it a look. To be. Mac Delta One. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> I think that's that. Are we wrapping? I think we're going to wrap. Yeah, I think we're going to go. All right, honey, it. wrap us up. So. Like with a big fat bow. Yeah, yeah, do that, you know. Wrap it up nice. Okay, guys. Well, you can find us on the usual streams, Facebook, 
X. Uh, we are on Amazon Music. Music. Mm -hmm. uh, iHeart. Radio. Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Radio Public. Radio Public. And Spotify. Of course, Spotify, our original platform. And Audible. We can just each say one word. We that could, would be but, cool. but yeah. <laughs> I just thing. post they all of them, thing. so. We have a new thing. Yep. So. All right. Make sure you tune in next week when Bodie will tell the story of how he stopped a terrorist organization single handedly. <laughs> that, that didn't happen, so I'm going to have to start short story writing creatively. <laughs> give, me, give me some time. <laughs> Big dog out. See you next week. Bye. Bye.